Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the first three books in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead, and I decided to do this about five minutes ago. <laughs> um, I've already done written reviews on my blog, but I really just love this series so much that I feel the need to talk about it in a video. Um, so there's six books total, so this will be part one, and then I will do part two of the last three books. And I'm already beyond these three, so it's going to take, you know, a little bit to remember to think back to this stuff, but it's okay. It's just, I really like this series and I really want to talk about it. Um, I'm going to start out with giving you a little bit of what this is centered around and stuff. So if you have never heard of it or, um, you know, thinking you might want to pick it up, maybe this will give you the extra nudge to go do that. Um, like I said, I am loving these books. I've given all three of these five stars. They're very fun, enjoyable reads. And um, I have not really read too much with vampires. Um, to be honest, I've read the Twilight series and the Mortal Instruments series has a little bit of vampire stuff in it, but that's about it. I really don't read too much paranormal stuff and so this has been really fun and interesting and new to me. But this book centers around Rose, which is a Dampier, and Lissa, which is a Maroi, a vampire. And Rose is like half vampire, half human. That's what a Dampier is. And so she doesn't drink blood like Lissa, but um, she has like the heightened senses of a vampire, which that's pretty cool. So I wouldn't mind being a Dampier. She can see better in the dark and she can hear better and see better. And, but yet she still is, you know, she looks like a human. She's just quicker. She has better reflexes. Anyways, her and Lissa um, run away from their boarding school, the Vampire Academy, and they're taken back by force. And um, this book is just so fun. It's just in this world, which it takes a little bit uh, to get into. I wasn't really confused, but I know quite a few people that seem really confused in the beginning. Trust me, you just keep reading, you'll understand it all. I mean, the author explains everything. But it's funny because the enemies of the Myro the Maroi and the Dampiers are the Strigoi, which are like evil vampires. They're like what you think of when you think of the term vampire. They are immortal, they don't go out in the sunlight, they don't like sleep, they kill people when they drink their blood, they're evil. And so when they're in this school they're protected, but out and about in the human world, um, these Maroi have Dampier guardians, so like Rose and Lissa would be, if they were like grown up, they could be together. And the yeah, Strigoi, it's interesting because in this book the Strigoi are clearly like the enemies Yet, there's all these little trivial things that go on in the school that make it seem like it's the bigger issue. So like Mia, for example, she um, like hates Lissa and Rose and she makes their life really horrible in the academy and she spreads all this rumor, like all these rumors and gossip about them and stuff. But I really like this book. I love the main character Rose, so that always helps if you love the main character. Um, I love the romance in this. It's kind of the forbidden love thing, but it's um, it's so good. Dimitri, uh, awesome. He's like Rose's trainer, and people think of him as like a god. He is so good. He's huge. He's like six seven, massive, massive, and super quick, super strong. And so I just love everything about this book. It's so much fun. If you were thinking about reading it, I definitely recommend it, five stars. And I've heard they just get better and better. And so far I'm seeing that, I'm loving all these books. I rated them all five stars. So definitely give it a go if you haven't, haven't read it yet. And do it now, because the rest of us are gonna talk about the three books in detail. And I don't wanna spoil you, because spoilers suck. Okay, so that was a mouthful. That was a lot to say. It's hard to try and explain this world and that's how like any book is really if it's not you know a contemporary um, but you know fantasy is hard to explain sometimes but anyways so Vampire Academy the first one I personally love Dimitri and I love that whole thing the lip gloss that he gave her is so freaking cute They're both very selfless which is a good trait to have if you're a guardian and I really like Rose because she's so rash and she just She's really, she just goes and gets what she wants, but at the same time, she's very caring. And she, like Lissa, she cares about Lissa so much and she would do anything for her. And you know, if Lissa's in trouble, she's there kind of thing. Um, what did you guys think? I did not suspect, like with the whole dead animal thing, I did not suspect that it was um, Natalie at all. Um, I feel like some of you may have. I also didn't guess at all um, the ending with her uncle Victor 
our uncle Victor. Um, I, that was just didn't see that coming, and I can't stand him, and he's such a creep. And the whole part with Dimitri and Rose, it's so bittersweet because because I love them. At the moment, you're kind of like, okay, well, this is kind of awesome because. I really want them together, but what the heck is going on? Uh, you were just thinking about Lissa, and now you're like taking each other's clothes off. What is happening? And the whole charm necklace thing, just nuts. Loved, oh my gosh, all of it was so freaking good. Can't stand Mia, she's so awful. But I really, really like Christian, and I think that um, it's interesting how you know you hear about his parents and stuff, which is so unheard of. Um, and I think that he's really good for Lissa, although Rose is kind of getting a little jealous. <laughs> in the frost fight, this is when we hear about um, Rose's mom more, Janine, and that was really interesting. You kind of feel a little bit bad for Janine because Rose is being so rude, but at the same time, you know, Rose does feel abandoned and you can kind of try to relate to that and try to understand where she's coming from. I mean, she's pretty much just grown up at the academy, she doesn't really know anything different, and you know, I feel like I would probably do the same thing in Rose's position. A lot more blood and battle in this book um, with like the massacre and stuff that was awful. Um, definitely getting more into like fighting and stuff in this book. What do you think about the bond? I mean, I think, could you imagine if, I mean, if it's your best friend, it'd be, it'd kind of come in handy if, you know, you can kind of pick up on how they're feeling and stuff. But Rose doesn't even like Christian and next thing she knows she's like making out with him and that would be really scary and awful because you don't know I guess I if I if I had that issue you'd be scared because you don't know where you know your mind's gonna take you next like you don't know if you're gonna be where you are or if you're gonna be like transferred to like someone across campus like I don't know it's pretty interesting um, I kind of felt bad for Rose quite a bit in this book. So what do you guys think about the Tasha thing? I guess if you didn't really like the whole Rose and Dimitri thing, but I guess you'd be for that. But I obviously am totally for Dimitri and Rose, and I totally want them to be together. So I couldn't stand that whole deal, and naturally it kind of made me really dislike Tasha. And I was so angry that Dimitri was possibly going to be her guardian. Obviously, I'm glad he said no, but that was very emotional, and I was kind of freaking out. So what do you guys think about Adrian? Because... I mean, obviously in this context, he kind of seems like just some sleaze that thinks he's all that and he's so rich and stuff, but the way he was talking to Rose, I, there was like a hint of me thinking like maybe, I don't know, like we weren't going to see the last of him and that he isn't, I don't know, maybe all that bad. I don't know. I always try to do this with characters and sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm wrong, but it's just funny how he's like, you know, dang, if this is how you are you know, all, what did he say, upset and like all sweaty and stuff, like imagine you at your best, like, I don't know. Rose is pretty much like stunning as, from what we could tell in this book, and everyone loves her, and she knows it, but she's not too arrogant and stuff. I like her, I like that, I like confidence and stuff, and I think it's fun, way more fun to be around confident people than people that are constantly like hating themselves and things. So the ending of this book was absolutely so emotional and and just ah oh, like I was so frustrated when they ran away thinking they're all that and that they could take a strike away and why would that? I don't know they were basically just in way over their head and I was so frustrated when she found them and they didn't just freaking go obviously you should freaking just get out of there and when they started sniffing around I was so angry like you're gonna get caught I knew it was gonna happen that was so those scenes were so awful because poor Eddie and I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was a little angry because they didn't think of Christian using his, like, magic beforehand with the fire. Um, but once they escaped, I mean, that, that, that was just nuts. Like, that was so, like, my heart was just racing. And then they escaped. And then Rose was, like, fighting them. And it's just so different. We haven't really interacted that much with Strigway yet. We just keep hearing about them. And finally, Rose is, like, finding them and... It's funny because you hate Mia so much in the first book. And then in this book, she helps Rose so much with, like, the water. That was nuts. Imagine not being able, I mean, to get that, like, off your face. And it just keeps drowning you and blah. Um, 
I didn't cry when Mason died, but I was very, very emotional and upset. And I couldn't believe he died. He was so fun and loving and just happy-go-lucky. And of course he would be the one to die. I was so upset. I, I, I just, I mean, it was awesome because Rose killed her first driveway and she's like intense and, and brave and all that. But I really feel like that's going to affect her. Um, well, I know it's going to affect her in the later books. And I just, oh, I don't know. I... I feel for her. I'm kind of worried about her. I feel like at her age and stuff, these dampiers are expected to do so much more than they should be. And it's just, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's right really to make them um, all become guardians or they're like shunned because they're all, if it's a girl, they're called a blood whore. And it's just, it's awful. They kind of stereotype and they're just prejudiced. And I don't know, it's, it's sad. That leaves just one more book and this book killed me. Shadow Kiss killed me. If you follow me on Twitter, I was freaking out and dying at the end of this book. I was tweeting that I was dead because of this book. And I actually never ended up doing a written review about this because um, I was just so in shambles. I couldn't even think. The ending, I did not expect that to happen. I was, I, how can he come back from that? There's no way. The only thing is she could become like him, but I don't want her to become like him. And I was freaking out. So this whole book, Rose is seeing ghosts now, and that's awful. And the Mason thing, and just, ugh, it was awful. Um, and then people didn't believe her, and it's like, are you serious? Like, what does she have to, uh, just, the ending. That's all I can think about. When he, and it was Rose's idea, wasn't it, to go back to save them which was brave and awesome and I'm so happy they did but not freaking really because freaking Dimitri gets killed or turned into a stragway which is just the worst like my stomach was hurting it was hurting when I read this I'm still upset about it I'm still upset I'm currently reading book five I am still upset about this I will not get over this. Uh, hopefully I do, but uh, right now, no. Ugh. By the way, um, I did like, I, after you know we first met Adrian, I did grow to like him a lot more. And I don't know what it is about him, really just starting to like Adrian a lot. And I'm starting to like him, um, I liked him a lot in the fourth book. A lot, a lot. And Rochelle Mean totally knows what she's doing. She did this on purpose. She got Rose and Dimitri finally together. They admitted they both love each other. My heart was so happy. And then she freaking ripped it out of my chest and just crushed it. And she just killed me. I, they were, and they were making plans. They were making plans together. Plans. We're gonna, they were gonna work out. Before, they said that they couldn't be together because of Lissa and they were, couldn't both be his guardians. And oh my gosh, the part when Dimitri was talking about how, you know, he wouldn't throw himself in front of Lissa, he would throw himself in front of Rose, and it was just so sweet. And I love Dimitri so freaking much. And he doesn't deserve, th he doesn't deserve this at all. Just, <sighs> like the rest of this book doesn't even matter. I don't even wanna talk about, you know, the whole like, Rose not being assigned to Lissa and she got Christian instead, which was interesting and I do like Christian a lot and um, I haven't mentioned at all yet about the whole shadow kiss thing and how it's, I did guess that. I haven't guessed very much in this series, but I did guess that Rose was almost like sucking up all the badness from Lissa and she would get real like, just out of nowhere, she'd get real bitchy basically. And I'm like, where did that come from? And I'm like, oh, oh, she took Lissa's darkness or whatever and then Adrian was seeing like the dark shadows and stuff and anyways that doesn't even matter because because Dimitri that's why I didn't do my written review for, for this book because it's all insignificant compared to the fact that Dimitri is not a freaking strigoi it's not fair I'm so angry and my neighbors I just realized probably think I'm a complete psycho because they are definitely home and I heard them a little bit ago talking so they can certainly hear me yelling about this book but I, I do, it doesn't matter because Dimitri's dead. Right? After I finished this book, Jake asked me to do something I remember and I said, Jake, I can't. And he said, why? I said, Dimitri's dead. And he's like, okay, what? And I said, this book, I can't do anything because he's dead. And then we said to, he said something like, do you wanna to go to dinner? And I was kind of joking, but not really. And I was like, no, I can't because Dimitri's dead. And then my that was the night that my laptop charger died and I couldn't charge my laptop and I threw it against the wall and I was like it doesn't even matter because Dimitri's dead and so this this makes sense that my laptop's dead because 
who cares? The world, it doesn't matter anymore because Dimitri is, is, is Drygoy and he's gonna be evil. <laughs> Yes, I'm a little bit emotional about it. Just just a touch. Okay, well that's all I had to say about these three books. And this was not a very this wasn't these weren't very good reviews, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm just really emotional about this. And what's gonna happen is I already read book four, currently reading book five, I will read book six, and I'm gonna give myself a little break. Let myself reflect. Hopefully the series ends, you know, good. And then I will do my part two review for the last three books. And at that point, hopefully I can actually talk to you and hopefully things will be solved. I don't know how. And hopefully I won't be so upset. And so hopefully it'll be a better review and I won't just keep talking about Dimitri because because Dimitri. So well, let me know what you think of these three books and let me know all of your favorite parts and your least favorite parts and let me know your favorite characters. Do you love Rose? Do you think she's arrogant? Do you like Christian? Do you like Adrian? I love everyone but mostly Dimitri. Alright guys I will see you next time. Bye!